describe the uses of these electromagnetic waves. We'll go from radio waves all the way down to x-rays. So radio waves are the longest wavelength going from 10 centimeters from one peak of the wave, that's the wavelength, up to many kilometers uh, wavelength. And x-rays are the smallest wavelength and they have thousands and thousands of wavelengths in every millimeter. So they're tiny wavelengths. They all travel at the same speed of light in a vacuum. So let's start with radio waves and check out some uses. So radio. Radio waves. Well, as the name suggests, they're used in radio communications. Radio comms, I'll put for short. And the wide range of wavelengths are used for different purposes. For example, long wave can diffract around the Earth's surface and reach for hundreds of kilometers. Um, whereas the shorter wavelengths uh, can be used, for example, in television, communication as well. OK, so that's radio. Let's take a look at microwaves. Microwaves are also used in communications and particularly in satellite communications. Satellite comms and, for example, satellite television. Those dishes you see on houses, they're picking up microwave transmissions and those transmissions are usually beamed to a, an orbiting satellite which then relays the signal down to the other places where, they're, um, where the satellite dishes are receiving the signal. Microwaves can travel through the Earth's atmosphere, which is why they're, they're used for that purpose. They're also used in mobile phone networks. That's how your mobile phone can, communicates with the base stations. Mobile phone networks. Uh, we're familiar with microwaves. Shorter wave microwaves are used for um, heating, heating water. And those are in your microwave ovens, uh, but they're only for shorter, at the shorter wavelengths, not the same wavelengths as used for communications. Okay, so that's that's microwaves. Let's take a look now at infrared. Infrared is all about heat, uh, but one use of infrared is in remote controls. Remote controls communicate with the appliance using infrared signals and uh, we also use infrared as intruder alarms. Intruder alarms. For example, if there's a, an intruder in your garden but it's too dark to see them, if you have a, an infrared intruder alarm, then it's like an infrared camera. The camera will be able to see the heat given off by the intruder. Remember that everything that has a temperature gives off infrared waves. So the hotter an object is, the more waves it will give off. The intruder will have a higher temperature than the surroundings usually, and so the the light will then be triggered by the electrical circuitry. Infrared is also used in optical fibers. Optical fiber, optical fibers, communications again, for sending signals down thin strands of glass, and the, the, the infrared beams bounce off the insides of this glass and can travel many, many kilometers, traveling near to the speed of light. Okay, what else have we got? Yes, one last thing for infrared. They're used as radiant heaters. Radiant heating, I should say. For example, in, in uh, radiant heating and grills in your ovens. This is how heat energy is transferred from a grill, let's say, to the food that's being cooked. And it you may have radiant heaters in your school which glow red hot and you can feel the radiant heat that's infrared being given off. Finally, let's check out x-rays. Now, 
here's the classic uh, use of x-rays in hospitals and medicine medicine for x-ray photography x-ray photography the the special photographic plate starts off as white and the white areas are the places where the plate has not been exposed to x-rays because the bones have got in the way and the black is where the x-rays have got through and have exposed the plate and it enables us to see inside the lower density tissue which doesn't absorb the x-rays as much and that can tell us information about broken bones and uh, other uh, parts of the body it's also used in airport security of course another part of um, x-ray use in medicine is to kill cancerous cells to kill cancerous cells because x-rays carry a lot of energy and that means that that energy can be absorbed by tissue and that can kill cells unfortunately can kill live cells healthy cells as well as the cancerous cells but that is one treatment uh, medical treatment that x-rays are used in